Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing, man? It's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on guys? How we doing? Matt Antonelli here. Today, we're talking about double play feeds from the second base position, and we're talking about when do we give an underhand feed, and when do I give a power, I call it a power feed, where my thumb gets under this way. First, we've talked about this in a prior video, I think it's really important to be on the same page as your shortstop, as your other middle, inf middle infielder, so that he knows when I do this, when I go this way, I'm going to give this feed, or I'm going to give that feed, okay? That way he can expect it, anticipate it, and it's just going to help with his, his rhythm. So let's talk about that first. Now, when do we do the power feed and when do we do the underhand feed? Here's my basic rule for it. I'm going to give an underhand feed. When the ball is to my right and my shoulders get turned. So the ball is to my right, my shoulders get turned as I'm fielding the ball. You can see here my shoulders are turned. I'm going to field it and I'm going to underhand feed it. Okay? Every time my shoulders get turned, I'm going to underhand feed it. I'm going to power feed it when my shoulders are facing square to the batter. Okay? So this would be square and this would be turned. Now, when would I be square? I'd be square when I get a ball hit at me in the line. So I'm coming up into the line to get the ball, okay? I feel the ball, my shoulders are square, I power feed it. It gets tough when my shoulders are square and I'm up in the line, it's tough to do this one right here and go underhand. So I'm set up to field it, power feed it, okay? I just drive off this outside foot, I turn my thumb under, I feed the ball, and I follow it. All right. The other one is my feet can be, or my shoulders will be square on a ball that's hit at me, and maybe it's hit hard where I can't work around the ball, right? So if the ball is just normally hit at me, I can get around it to my left, and now I'm going to work through it, see my shoulders get turned, I underhand feed it, right? But let's say it's a rocket, or maybe I got a, I got a drop step, or maybe I just can't get momentum, and I, oh, I catch it in here, and it kind of takes me back. I'm not able to get around it. Well, now I power feed it. My shoulders are square, I drive off my left foot, thumb under, feed it and follow, okay? Now, that's how I do it personally. And I think it's easiest, again, when your shoulders get turned, you underhand it. When your shoulders are square, you power feed it. I've seen guys power feed everything, right? I remember Roberto Alomar back in the day. I mean, he used to power feed balls from like way over there. You go right field and power feed a ball, okay? So some guys, no matter what, they're gonna power feed it. If that's what you feel most comfortable with, if that's what you feel like you can get the most speed on the ball and you have the best accuracy with it, I'm not gonna yell at somebody for doing that. Just make sure the shortstop knows and you're consistent with it. So again, you go to your right, you like to get this ball and power feed it. That's okay, I'm not gonna yell at you, but don't go to your right and power feed it 50% of the time, and then go to your right and say, oh, this time I'm going to go underhand feed, because the shortstop's expecting a power feed, and then, oh, you're doing something different, and it messes with your partner, okay? So those are the kind of easy general rules of, again, if I'm teaching it, that's how I teach it. If I've got somebody that really struggles one way or the other, and he says, I mean, I, just, I don't like this one, I can't do it well, I feel better with this, will we watch him? Okay, you're right, yeah, you are much better with that, okay, let's stick with that, now let's make sure your partner knows, okay? So, Hopefully that helps you guys out and makes sense. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends, all that good stuff, and we'll talk to you later.